Hey guys and gals, let's continue on with The Little Mermaid by Lego Disney. This is set number 43225, contains 1,808 bricks. The set was provided to me by the Lego Group for early review, and it retails for $159.99. And we just finished up bags one through six. And I believe we are going to be doing bag seven through 11 here. So that's basically what we'll be working on right there. So it's pretty much probably the innards that go in here. And yeah, so let's, let's get going here. I'm going to try to breeze through this one, hopefully, and get it done because... Well, I was working on a I was working on a tutorial, well, just a rough rough draft of one. Kind of stumped on something and saw this across the room, and I thought, well, I better get on this thing here because I got less than a week to get it done. And I hate worse when you're trying to come up with an idea and simply the parts just do not exist. <laughs> so that's never good. Okay, I'm trying to see where these go here. I think they just go even. There's supposed to be five studs. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just, I can't tell you what the tutorial is, but I was stumped on it. So, that having been said, well, Lego doesn't make a certain piece. So, I'm kind of stumped. <laughs> I gotta get creative with snot methods again. So, yeah. yeah let's get going here. And I'm gonna try to get this done quickly here. Not that it's boring, I just got my own personal stuff to do. And, yeah. Alright, let's pull that closer for you. Yeah, alrighty. And it is late in the evening. So this is in the same day as installments one and two. So this is the third one. And... Yeah, there's a lot of parts in here. <laughs> and we gotta back butter something and shove this. And... Here, like that, to fill this quarter in here. Oh, they're really going in detail. But then, why don't they just use a one by four in here instead of a one by threes? You know what I mean? And there's those famous one by fives. <laughs> Never thought to see those ever in Lego. One by f one by five. I mean, it took them a while to make a, a three stud long brick back in the day. I'm, I'm sure they're testing the waters with fives. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll come out with a seven. And that is... I'm just making sure, checking my work. And, yeah. So that's... I hate when I'm stuck on a mock. Yeah, or a tutorial. It's something on my checklist I want to build. It's... Something I think I'm going to put in July or August. And just just stumped on it like a writer's block, except it's a builder's block. <laughs> it's not those kind of blocks that help you either, so you just have to work through it. And while we're thinking on that, well, while I'm thinking on it, I can build this here. So yeah, so far I've been fairly pleased with this set. There's nothing wrong with it. It's the instructions are easy to follow. So I'm I'm happy so far. It's not intimidating or anything like that. And and yeah, you can tell I'm kind of tired. I'm not a chatty Kathy today. And I don't take any rude comments. 
That's good. I think I blocked all of them, so I don't have to worry. Um, maybe this one goes here. It goes right in between the hinge plates. And then... This plate goes here. So you can tell this thing's really well thought out, especially the way everything is locking in place. And I'm sure this thing is going to really strengthen up when we're done. I mean... I mean, there's nothing... I have nothing bad to say about this so far. I mean... I mean... Oh, this is kind of flimsy in here, though. But I think we have to lock all this together here eventually. I think this is going to have to go in there. Well, let's just wiggle and jiggle and see. Yeah, you're going to have to wiggle and jiggle that in. But once you start getting parts in here, this thing starts strengthening up but this right here is just kind of kind of weird it's almost like i forgot something there but that's how it is i thought maybe this goes all the way up against the edge so this is just so the signs here were actually just spacers at the bottom My bad. <laughs> that one there went in real easy. So the, the deck is starting to really snug this thing up. And the rest of it, sadly, is all white pieces. So we just got done with all the fun stuff. Now it's uh, the boring color. Well, shade. Right, okay, these are slightly different. Okay. So my uh, intent for the summer is to kind of tailor up summer fun for places I'd like to visit one day or things that I'd like to do um, instead of being ball and chained at home and work. <laughs> so I'm trying to get my mind off of that and thinking of some fun stuff for you guys and gals. I know a lot of people tell me they're in there. That same predicament too, and it just be like, oh, we can do Lego. We can all do Lego together. At least Lego, we could build our own, our own themes and stuff. We can build a theme. We can't go to a theme park. We could just build our own. Although I think visiting a theme park may be a little cheaper than investing into Lego, huh? <laughs> and then this goes over here. And we're gonna do that side there next. Well no we're not done yet. We gotta do more. And I'm starting to get that raspy cough again. I thought I was shaking it, now I'm not. And Let's see here. Well, I'm trying to find a one by two. There it is. That and then this goes here. Yes, it does. <laughs> I had to, had to make sure. And yeah, today is April 20th, 2023. <laughs> Well, now it's a April 21st. <laughs> uh, we, it's early in the morning. I just kind of want to hurry up and just, you know, kind of get this out of the way here. 
And so it's like Friday. Some people are probably, yeah, yay. I'm off work. I can do nothing all weekend. Cool. Yeah, that's like me too. It, you know, my last day of the week is usually Thursdays. So that that's that. I don't have to worry about anything until Monday. You know, wow, you only work four days out of the week? Yeah, but I work 10 hours a day. 10 or 12, it depends. So, you know, there's that. And after you get that put in there and then you put this over here, maybe these were mirrors. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention or something. And... That's exactly what these were. They were reflections. Well, let's see if we can find the little one first. Usually the smaller ones are the ones that are hard to find. Oh, there it is. And... I kind of wish I could get a hold of the digital manual, but I don't. When it's a pre-release or early review, you usually don't have access to those building guides, the early ones, so you just have to deal with it. And there goes the helicopters again. that goes there yes it does go there and you got to be careful don't press down on it because I'm afraid that that's going to come crashing I think there's a signs under there yeah there's signs you can press away and okay now we're going into slow mode on this one here maybe it's all for the best um, so, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with this set. It's just not a, I think it's the colors and too, uh, you know, like white is not really, it's good for certain builds, but, you know, I, I understand why we're using it here. All right. And then step 200. We're already at 200. Wow. <laughs> Me and talking about breezing through this. All right, let's start getting this going here. And... Yeah, my nephew and I were talking about skate parks. He goes, well, if, you're, if you skateboard, why don't you go to a skate park and do that? I'm like... No, well, because I can't do all those tricks anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like I don't feel like going into the ER for anything f silly at that point. Like, no. matter of fact, it's springtime, and you know what? We've speaking of the weather. A few days we're in the fifties, and next a few days ago we're in the fifties. Now we're ready to hit them to the high nineties. And it's just like summer's here, and I gotta one of my chores I gotta do um, this weekend, preferably tomorrow. I gotta shut the power off to the AC unit, and I gotta go in there and literally just take a, a chip brush, clean the coils, and clean it clean it out. It's a central. It's a central. Uh, HVAC system that I gotta clean and uh, just to hose out all the the buildup from last summer and winter and then the reason why you do that is is to make it run more efficient so you're not really just wasting power 
a lot more people out here now are switching to window units because they can cool off a certain room of the house. And that's fine and dandy. I'm not under any HOA uh, regulations out here. But then again, I really don't want those things hanging out my windows. Back windows I'm fine with, but you know, those houses that I, houses in my area, they just have the, uh, the sliding windows where they slide like this. They don't go up and down. You can shove them in there. There's some out, out in this area that have the noose type of um, central air. Well, actually, it's not central air. Every room's got its own little climate control. And I looked into getting one of those, and a little bit out of my league, but they're kind of cool. I'm going to make two of these. All right. Well, then am I missing a part, or did it roll under the manual? I need to make two of these. I could have rolled in another bag, but I don't remember. Um, not in my hands. Here's some tiles. Well, it either A, it probably... Oh, wait a minute. That's the wrong size. That is why. Why didn't any of you guys and gals tell me that, huh? Well, I gotta pull that out somehow. <laughs> it's the big ones, we gotta stick these in like this here. That's like, let me look at that again. And these go here. No. Wait a minute. This is wrong here. Well, I'm going to need the brick separator. <laughs> Finally, after in bag seven, I actually had to use it. Stick that there. I'm sure all this is probably critical, as it's the uh, the deck for everything. And if something's out of alignment, yeah, you know, it's, it's really going to be known. And we just got to build one of these. Oh, there's two of them that we have to build. A small one and a big one. Let's do the small one first, since that confused me the last time. And then the small one goes here. You notice I'm checking before I commit to pressing that down. No need to make mistakes and have to rip that apart. It's not fun. And then this big one goes here. And then, in fact, I should label this. How to build Lego stuff. Actually, we're not doing how to build because I'm following a building guide. And uh, got a bunch of tiles here. So, okay, I think I forgot some in a step. Shows tiles back here in this corner. So, let me back up here a little bit. Where did those come from? Alrighty, boy, that's way back there. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I'll get that, too. If you work very slow, you don't ever have to worry. Okay, so this goes right underneath here. Just don't forget these up here. Okay, and you'll be fine. Don't do what I did. <laughs> and we'll stick that there. And that goes there. And we have one piece remaining right here, which is one of these. Not too bad, not too bad at all. All right, now we're gonna move on to bag eight. And it's more white pieces. For this being somewhat colorful, so I think we just did, bag seven just did the deck here. I don't know what bag eight does. Let's just dive right on in. <laughs> and okay. We put those together.
I do get this question from time to time, do I ever get bored of Legos? Sometimes it does get a bit exhausting. You know, building your own stuff is is a treat. It's doing uh, sets, it does kind of get to, it gets to me after a while. You know, I still have not even placed a parts order yet. You know, I, I maybe it's just because I don't need any, any need any more parts right now. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I need, either Lego doesn't sell or doesn't make it. You know, it's kind of kind of the sad thing. <laughs> it's like you get this really good hot idea in your mind. It's like, oh, I'm sure they have a part for that. Go through. Um, Go through my database and online and I'm looking going oh there's no part that exists like that well looks like I'm back to the drawing board and let me figure out a way to snot that together you know, it's kind of getting that to um, you know it's getting the idea out of your mind and onto a brick you know in brick form is another issue In fact, they, with all the new parts Lego's coming out with, it's going to be very helpful for more advanced builders. And one of the things I like to do is slimline my builds. Oh, okay. Okay, be careful with these. You're going to have to... Uh, Make sure that these are on there because they'll I'll show you they can go up and they can go down well way down I'll show you they can go down like that so you want to make sure they're kind of even with all this here I think that's just they're using these as a filler possibly in between the cracks now, Jay if you know if you're tired why don't you just not work on this because I want to get it done so I can work on my own creations you know my own my own stuff and to you know it kind of just feels like I'm being stifled all right so we need to make another another one of these that goes right there. And then this thing goes in here. And yeah, I kind of figured it was going to go in the middle here. In spite of how we how this thing is built, you could really just press right down on that and that won't go anywhere. Oh yeah, okay, I see. Look how seamed that is. Alrighty, well we're getting somewhere now. <laughs> uh, Alright, now we gotta do some more here. If these are a mirror... I'm just gonna... I'm just checking ahead here. Yeah, these are mirrors. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, we're working on this piece here. I'm gonna go ahead and just mirror this up real quick. It'd be faster. So we're going to start there. That's the one I'm working on on the reflections over here. I like these little squashed little one by one bricks. Those are always cool. And that's where we're going to start, my friends, right there. <laughs> you know, like I said, I could have done it the other way and do it slow, but I don't want to build slow. <laughs> Sure, taking advantage of these, huh? Now I won't install this stuff. Well, maybe I could, but I, I don't know. We'll we'll see here. Okay, that 
that takes care of that. And yeah, everybody wanted Chinese food tonight, and I was like, oh. <laughs> Delivered, of course. About gagged when I heard, and I said, well, why don't we go out for a meal, and then you know, let's all get dressed up and go out for a meal. You know, if I had basically junk food all week because of my work schedule, and they're like, no, no. You can. I'm like, no, oh, my friend was busy. And I said, well, I guess I'm stuck with that. <laughs> uh, Takeout food. In fact, in my area, they're really kind of pushing composting out here. And I was mentioning, I said, you know, why don't we start a compost pile? You know, I was thinking about starting one out in the middle of my yard. Well, not in the middle of the yard, it's in a corner. I got an area of my yard that's not being used. And I thought, let's start a compost pile. And they're like, oh, why would you want to do that? And I'm like, well, it's better than giving it to the trash guy and have him make money off of it. Plus, out here, the ground is like a really hard clay put some nutrients back into it for landscaping purposes and you know and, and I'm still going to do the compost thing anyways but compost bin okay so this one here is going to go right in this area like this now I'm only assuming that this goes over here So that's what I'm assuming. All right. And let me take a look at this next piece here. And I believe that this is a mirror. So we will do another reflection here. And I was thinking about doing a compost bin just so I can bring some nutrients because the ground out here is just so it's just so gritty it's it's like coarse dirt think of it as minecraft you know except the old minecraft hoe is not going to help it much <laughs> it needs a lot of nutrients this used to be old farmland out here many years ago and now it's kind of just the ground's just been all spent it's just there's, it's very poor nutrients, and I was like, you know, that's, I do that, I don't have to buy fertilizer. So, I'm thinking about it still. Oh, it's going to stink, it's going to do this and that, I'm thinking, no, it's not going to smell. I like to do gardening and stuff, and the clay, gritty soil is just not enough. All right. Mm, speaking of this, okay, I know I'm quiet and all, but I remember there was another rude comment. I did a short video. It's like a 12 second clip about one of the Lego sets that I got. And of course, it was a, it was a, it was a kid. I said, "I was, you're boring." And I thought, oh. I thought, well, okay. And of course, you know me. Before I, I mean, okay, I'm boring, fine. And I just, and I just removed the comment because it would have probably started some negative attraction. And. I think within like 40 minutes later, I got another comment from the same person. You suck. 
I thought, okay, I see where this is going. And, you know, and then that's when I decided to drop the band hammer. And before I did, I was like, I'm going to check their profile. It was like a brand new profile. And it was a little girl. I swear I banned lots of little girls off, off of uh, my profiles. I'm like, why? You know, why go on here and say some, you know, say that kind of stuff, you know, like, you know, I, I, I don't want, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> you think I'd be getting it from teenage boys or something, but, uh-uh. Of course, if I was a teenager, why would I be looking up Lego videos? Matter of fact, why would I be looking up any of that stuff at all? Because, uh, uh, when I was a teenager, YouTube didn't even exist, unfortunately. Well, maybe that's a good thing. I'd be on YouTube all the time. I wouldn't be studying, huh? <laughs> but no, I mean... Some people, they get blocked on here, and it's just like, why? Why are you calling me stupid and boring and stuff? You know, first off, why are you watching Lego videos? It was off of just a short video, and I'm just like a short. You're, you're, and it's, and, and I gotta say it though, it's kind of sad if somebody's gonna get blocked on a, on a channel. Why would it be a Lego channel out of all channels? I mean, back in the old days, I used to let things slide, but not anymore. I don't know if it's because I've gotten older or what, but I just don't like dealing with bullies and trolls. You know. These go here, but I'm just like, yeah, really. Okay, so basically, I was gonna say, and that's pretty much about it. And that's got a nice look to it. And this is getting heavy, so I don't know how heavy this is going to be. And I'm going to skip all that. We got all that nonsense done. Now we got normal color looking parts. And now we can start doing some of the, the fun stuff again. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was a good lesson in there. But right. let's start with this plate here. And where do we start at? Let's start here first. And we're going to work our way out this way because it's... I'm kind of confused here. Matter of fact, I, I was going through some old stuff of mine, and anybody remember, remember if you were a kid, you used to jump on your bed. Um. <laughs> so you got too tall and you couldn't do it anymore, but... I was uh, I was listening to something. I was going through some old paperwork, and I thought I remember used to listen to this song. Uh, jump, and you'd you'd hear something like that. You get on your bed and you just jump away, not knowing the repercussions of breaking down your box springs doing it. I remember those days. I was like, oh man, I wish I was a kid again. You had the radio up full blast and all that stuff. Or in the daytime, you go out and grab your bike and go visit your friend's house. Or go visit your friend and go to his house. And like we got a bunch of coins here, huh? This must be the loot room. But I was re remembering that. I thought, oh, I remember those days. It was lazy days. You know. And. Not anymore. <laughs> no, everything's, ex you know, maybe I should buy one of those trampolines and do that too. But some people, my neighbors like to peek over the fence, go, oh, what's this guy doing? But although it's, uh, it's uh, aerobics, pretty much is what it is. 
Okay. Alright, so... If I can get that in there, that'd be great. There we go. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do, I was gonna film a tutorial before this, but you guys already know about that. And, so does it go on there? Okay, that's where it goes. Okay. And there's another one here. Yeah, but I sure miss those days of just chilling out and all that stuff. Now it's just, uh, you get up, you go to work, and you go to bed. Essentially, that's it. And there's one of these cavity pieces I'm going to put in there. And now that was the book. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. And this one goes in between here. Okay. And so far, you know, now we're getting some colors. This is like this is just water. All this greenery. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up on the comments on this channel here. Oh, there's a, a light purple that goes there. And this one goes right next to the clip. Yeah. I don't know. Well, that's kind of not going down, so maybe that goes down further. It makes sense if it went there. I think that's what it is. Right here, it looks like maybe it does. Right where my, above my thumbs. I think that's where it goes. It's hard to say. Yeah, but the old bed jumping thing and listen to your music. That was fun. Oh, I miss the 80s music. <laughs> I'll sit there and play it, and especially get some of these younger guys like, oh man, that sounds pretty cool, what is that? And it's like, oh, this is music I grew up with. Oh, what station is it on? Like, It's not on a station, it's on an, it's on an iPhone. <laughs> Here's the artist if you want to look them up. And, and uh, Whoops, where are you going, Mr. Krabs? Get back in there. All right, there we go. And then we have some random sword here. Oh, I got to get a clip. And this goes right here. And yes, it's slightly crooked, so just wiggle it around until it fits all right and then that's it so we have an extra fork where did the fork come from here did i miss a piece the other stuff i can understand but let me kind of browse through this real quick here my apologies now where did the forks come from is that just the utensils they give us randomly? Yeah, because it doesn't. Like, where do these where do these come from here? Oh, wait a minute. I see them. There's a fork. It's in the pink thing here. I forgot to put the fork. Be careful. You're gonna have to put the fork in this one here. Why is there a fork sticking out of here? Well, I don't know. Why is that sticking out there? Maybe this is just a loot crate or something. And that is, and that's what we have remaining for bag eight. Okay. 
Let's see what kind of goodies are in bag nine. At least it's not all white stuff in there. It's a little bit of gray and everything else. Okay. So bag eight did this front top piece. And now, bag nine looks like we're turning our attention to this side here. So, let's start with that. That piece first would make more sense. And yeah, let's get going here. Still missing the two tiles that go in that hole, and no, I didn't steal those. There we go. Kind of want to see how this thing turns out when it's done because it's a, uh, it's pretty cool looking as it is. And we take a half round tile, and looks like a magenta stud flower. First, I gotta find it. You just back butter this. And you set it here. So I guess the top, I guess the stuff flower is going to sit on top of the previous brick, so you don't push it in too far. And let's see here. I'm looking for a one of those angular tiles. Stick that in there. And another one of those curved tiles. Matter of fact, that's the only thing that's in here. And something that's a nice little treat is some coral round tile. These are cool. I like those. I don't know what I'd use them for in my own builds, but, you know, they're just cool. Sometimes these parts are pretty cool, but it's like, what do you, what, what can you do with them? It's just cool to look at. But I got a bunch of cool to look at parts and never actually used them for anything. We don't need that, we need this. Okay, looks like we're building ourselves a... Uh, hmm. Like shelving or something. I've got to put the plate under there. Okay, this is a gold, a gold stud and there's a... One of those one of these weird metallic things. I'll show you here. It's like a transparent, like, it's like opaque, but as you can see, it's kind of got that blue tint to it. So, I'm thinking this is some sort of like, maybe it could be a laboratory. We don't know yet. Matter of fact, just the top of that alone looks like something like you would use like a perfume bottle or something. what that looks like. Okay. Yeah, I think we're just using these for shelves. And this one's got a lot of stuff going on here. Now, one thing I also look at when I do reviews is how colorful is the set? Does it have a lot of bright colors? And so far, just with the white on this, you know, I mean, it's it's part of the build, but you can see other colors are just popping out at you. And that's the one thing I always like to look at is, is there a lot of colors that are just popping out? That kind of thing. And then this goes here. See, it's pretty cool. We got one of these on the side. I was expecting a one by one plate, but oh, we got a one by six brick here. I don't have a lot of black pieces. I need to hoard those up a bit more. 
this has got to be some kind of laboratory, but I don't know. I don't see a kitchen in here. Usually I'm the one that does all the kitchen stuff. And, okay, so something obviously must be attaching to the side here, or it can attach to something on that. We don't know, but, and that we're going up another, wait, 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 wait. I put that on top there. There's supposed to be this here. So that's what it's going to look like so far. Not too bad. Hmm. Can I get this light to come out a bit more? Here we go. I got those older style LEDs. This is 150 watts in here. Um, you know if it's an LED, it still puts out heat. Like you could light heat. You know, the, it just gets warm. The bulb's not warm. It's warm, but not like the heat. It's just hard to explain. Mm -hmm. So we're actually attaching a two by six 45 degree slope. These are kind of rare for me here. So it just attaches to this. So I don't know what, what that's for there. And okay, and it goes right back here. This is like a marker, I guess, because that's the only place it'll fit. And there's a tile back here. So I'm assuming something's probably gonna slide there. Boy, that is a, uh, we kind of drag it on that. I should have put glider plates at the bottom. Um, and maybe I should have put this on a turntable. <laughs> Matter of fact, what I should do is do it like that. There we go. Put that in there. And then we put this rock face in here. so good now we're working back on this side here right here sometimes I think they add these extra random colors in here just for you know for guides especially if they're going to be buried in there you won't see them or somebody like myself I get kind of OCD on it and I just like I can't I got to take that out you know A lot of this stuff, I think, is going a little overboard. <laughs> and then I need some... You know, this would look pretty cool if you had this behind... Or, or maybe some water in it or something. Maybe put this in an aquarium. <laughs> All the algae and stuff would just build up on that. It would not be pretty... It would not be easy to clean. So don't do that. Alright, we'll start here. And then we gotta make another one of these gray things. doing Technic. <laughs> uh, I hope there's not a lot of Technic. I remember I did that Indiana Jones set. My goodness, it was just... I think the Technic is what kind of killed me on that set. It was just... I'm not, I'm not a Technic buff, so to me it was just like, oh. All right. Now, I always get... Which I said I was never going to talk about it, but, um, you know, I still get that question asked every day. Where do I get my parts from? Like, where do I get all these oddball parts? 
sets like this. You know, believe it or not, um, yeah, these are not the most appealing sets in the world, especially for guys. They don't like these type of sets. And I understand it's the colors, you know, it scares everybody off. I think that's where that goes. But, you know, don't let it scare you because these type of sets have got some pretty good pieces. It's like sometimes you'll see a color like, whoa, I can use this. And you'll go in and you look and see if you can order more. Or see if there's any sets you can buy off the shelf that has the parts you need, you know. That's how you do it. Okay, there's a piece that goes back in here. It's in the step. It's just right there like that. Yeah, we're getting we're getting pretty uh getting pretty nested in this in terms of steps. Alrighty, and then we're at step 281. If you're following along or just listening to me, just to let you know. for an inverted one by two slope. There you are, there you hiding under the manual there. And there's this heart piece. It should get a green heart. That goes right here. It looks like it just hangs over. Tell you one thing about this set, and it is relaxing to put together. Now, mind you, I'm on bag eight. We're halfway done with the build. Matter of fact, old Ariel is telling us otherwise, but <laughs> um, you know, I mean, we're getting there, and I mean, I'm pleased with the build so far. This is. I mean, even if you're not into this theme and you get this set, you know, it's like either as a gift or something like that, um, just take your time. This is something you want to, well, that came apart. Um, this is something that you want to just take your time on and just build very slow. And or if somebody like myself, I can't do that, but you just take your time. That's all I can say. Take your time and just enjoy the build. All right. All right. We got a. We got the gold binoculars, so we got to set those off there. This must be like a loot chest or something. Because we got a, a genie bottle here. Well, if I can get that on there, <laughs> I gotta get a couple more. Like I have one of those in gold, but how does that go on there, anyways? It shows it at an angle, but it goes on that stud there. But oh, maybe I wasn't doing it right or something. And then we actually have an hourglass piece. Days of our lives, huh? And then that goes right back in this little corner here. There's a lot of a lot of little pieces in here that I haven't little pieces, but a lot of this stuff is like accessories, you know. And you hear me say the word clutter, and I kid you not, but the clutter is what makes your builds pop out. Remember when I was doing the campground? That campsite still looked pretty plain, but once I start putting in the clutter, it'll pop out real quick. You know, and it'll give it life, like they're, like it's busy, like they're, it's like a snapshot of a, of a, 
of a p moment in time. And we're getting close here. Let's stick that in the back. Yeah, I'm kind of still shopping around for paint jobs for my truck. And, you know, I kind of still want to get a new one, but then again, um, they don't make mini trucks anymore. That's kind of sad. And you know, I always get off. Now I found out why people were offering me from my my old truck because uh, you know it's a mini truck. I'm like cool. So you do your research. You're like, oh, never mind. I'm keeping it. It has served its purpose for 29 years. And yes, I've looked at other vehicles and I'm just like, yeah, there's just nothing out there. Now, uh, everything is just expensive. I think that was the whole 90s craze. Everybody had to have a mini truck, including me. The Silverados were just a big monstrous beast. So this goes on the top here. Well, that fit instantly in there, so that's really just spaced out nice. Plus, I was never a full-size pickup guy, anyways. My dream truck was like a three, like a big giant 350, and um, dual one-ton dually towing package, the works, and, well, once gas kept climbing and climbing and climbing without, a, without no signs of slowing down, that dream, that just started becoming more and more of a dream, and then it faded away. <laughs> I thought, do I really need something that large? You know, I, I don't have a travel trailer or a fifth wheel to tow, so it would not do me any good and two I don't think I'd have the patience to to do that you know I may write up a function to do what Lego does here with the minifigures going up the this little progress bar here I don't think it'd be hard to write that up just count the number of pages and just mark your paces. I'm sure to be okay to do that. Sorry, Lego, but that's a good idea. Just have Jay the Surfer do it or something. I don't know. Yeah, but if, get, if anybody finds one of those little mini trucks, just slurp it up. Because they just don't make them anymore. Out here, they're kind of hot. They're kind of like a hot item. I, s I swear, like once, like once a week, somebody will leave a note or they'll come up to my door, asking if I'm going to sail. <laughs> okay. And that's it. So we just finished up bag nine. Bunch of little small stuff this time here. Just little odds and ends and stuff. All right, let's tackle bag 10. Let's see what we got in here. There we go. All right, and I got the tiny house by me. Yeah, I hadn't even got a chance to work on that yet. Like I said, when I get a mind, uh, an idea in my mind, I, I'd like to jump on it as quickly as possible. Hmm. 
All right. Now, if you need a set with a lot of arches and bowels and stuff like this, you got, it comes with a bunch. But I don't think anybody's going to spend 160 bucks for a part out. <laughs> Well, Ariel's still chugging along along the progress bar. Okay. Sometimes I get so confused about where do I start. So, I think... Well, this goes up here like this. Okay, I see where the 1x3 goes. And there's a bunch of slopes in here. I mean, it's a lot. If, at least this one's not cake with Technic. It's got the right amount of big and large pieces for the build. It's not, like I said, it's nothing, I don't have nothing bad to say about it yet. So, you know, I've been known to be brutal and blunt about some of these sets. But so far, this one here... You know, it's just nothing wrong with it. I can't can't trash talk this one. There's some guys on YouTube that will trash talk a set. I don't think I have any of those. I got a great tree branch. There's some out there where Lily just rip right into this stuff. I mean, just go hardcore, and I can't do that. But then I get the audience. A few people are like, Jay, you got to make these positive videos. Everything's positive. Hmm. I don't know what world that's in, but it's not here. Okay, I need another one of those. And... I need to get down and dirty here. I'm trying to find that clip, that angular plate there, and I'm not, so oh, there it is. It's like, I'm not seeing it. Well, now I'm not seeing the slope that goes with it. Well, you, if you don't have long fingernails, you cannot pick this stuff up off of a, off of a flat surface. And I'm looking for a slope that's, um, Dark stone gray. I see some, but those are not going to work. Yeah, I'd like to start a house project next. Actually, there's a few mocks I'd like to do, and really can't right now. Hoping I can, though. Did I skip a step here? Well, where does this go? Okay, I guess it goes there. Okay, I thought maybe this went back here, but no. Okay. You know, it gets me when throughout the week the kid always like to stay up late, but... Towards close to the end of the week, they're, they they have to get up early every day. They kind of go back to that schedule until the, the weekend, and they stay up late. And it's like when Monday comes around, it's like, oh, I have to get up early again? I'm like, yeah. You am going to have to. Oh, I want to take a day off from school. I'm like, well, no, I can't. I can't take a day off from work. Mm. Well, you're the boss. You can do as you please. I'm like, well, that, well, that doesn't mean anything because they still have to be there. And there's some days that I don't want to work. <laughs> and I have to do it. get to stay at home and play Minecraft and do Lego all day. Unfortunately, I gotta 
And it's like I still got to do some paperwork. Because Lego wants me to submit uh, paperwork for all my tutorials that I've done. So I got to do that. <laughs> all the recent ones that I've done for this year. I haven't even gotten the big list done yet. Yeah, my apologies if these type of builds are not exciting. You know, they're, you know. first off, I don't like cussing on YouTube. Very seldomly will ever happen, but, you know. Uh, and, oh, okay. Don't forget the one-by-one one brick that goes in this corner right here. Right behind that inverted slope. Yeah. If you've noticed now, it's the pile's starting to go down. Well, maybe it's hiding underneath the building guide. So sad out in my area. Not I have to go to the next state over just to go to a Lego store. I still would like to see inside of one. Here I do all this stuff, I'm an ambassador, and I've never yet still have been into a Lego store. Most guys have, and I'm like the one of the very few that has never even seen inside of one. And, ooh, that's kind of really, gotta be careful, I don't press on that too hard. But I've never seen inside of one, and I, it's like, you know, <laughs> uh, a friend of mine goes, oh, so now you're gonna have to go to, go, to, go down to, like one of those big cities and go experience one. I'm like, yeah, well, I don't want to have to pay the money and fuel just to go see a store and, and come out empty handed or worse, spend too much. <laughs> and I don't want to do that. So maybe it's all for the best. There we go. They're starting to really put that together. I like the way this looks in here. That looks pretty cool. I'm taking this is probably somewhat playable here. I think this is playable. I'm kind of anxious to see what it looks like when it's done. And I think this goes right there. And then there's a slope that goes back behind here. All right, I'm trying to find it. There's a slope that goes right here to lock that in. Maybe it's a tree or something, or maybe a support for an upper deck. Yeah, I'm still trying to persuade my family to get into Lego. <laughs> Did I forget something back there? Wait a minute, I must have skipped something here. There's actually more back here, more of these slopes. So I must have skipped this. That's like... This ain't going to sit on there alone, is it? No, that sits back there. So, yeah, I forgot some stuff. But as big as this set's going to be, and this is getting pretty heavy, I don't think you'd want to pick this thing up and move it too much. I mean, it's pretty sturdy as is, but I just... I don't know. I think this is just meant to be a shelf queen, a shelf hog. And just to sit on a shelf, just to be admired. Step 305, 305 to be more precise. 
Yeah. Work our way around here a bit. Let me just shove a one by eight in there unless they didn't use it in this set. And then a one by one plate with holder. Okay. And that goes, okay, I got it on wrong. It's, whoa, <laughs> that's supposed to go that way. I wonder how well this set would perform in a drop test. <laughs> and no, I'm not going to drop test this. But maybe somebody will one day. I'm not going to do that, but... some flat tiles up here so this may have something that removes on the top very such a bland color for this unless it's meant to be stone right here and if you think you were done with these no you're not you got a bunch more of these to do you can almost make a half pipe out of these except this is not quite it's a little bit larger than a plate so you can't just stick a tile in there without a lip so I don't know what their intent was for that and we are back on trying to find a safe place to pull this right there. So, where does that line up? Does that just sit there? It looks like it does. I'll give you a better thing where this blue plate here. It's got to touch that right down there, right next to that pink leaf. And if I was kind of questioning it, I was like, you know, I was like, wait, where does that go? So who is ready for summer? I'm not. <laughs> it's going to be hot. <laughs> I get so irritable when it's hot outside. So I'm like, oh, I got to pull and stuff. But I've been looking to get one of those outdoor projectors. But Ran that by with my family, and it was just like, oh, you don't need that. I'm like, it'd be something different. I must have forgot to put a brick back there. I think that's what this is supposed to be. Did I forget that? Yes, I did. Okay. But that's not a, a one by four. We need a one by six in there. And this goes here. And get out of here, you dumb mosquito. Left a mark on my wall. <laughs> yeah, out here with the West Nile and stuff like that, it's uh, got to be careful not to get bit. I still see them. Come on. Leave me alone. Right now you left a mess on my couch. Oh, at least I got... <laughs> I got a cover on it, but still... I'm gonna... I have to... I have to wash it anyways, eventually. Um, yes, despite I'm cluttered... A clutter... 
a cluttered person. I, I'm also a neat freak too. Everything's got to have a place for it. And this goes here. Um, okay, so there's a tile that goes here. It looks like the picture. And then we put the arches on there. No. Oh, yes. Maybe, I don't know. There's an arch that goes here. And then there's that blue one. We're not done with arches yet. I still see a few more. And then there's supposed to be a gap under there, yeah. And then we're here. And another one of those gray bricks here. holders in here. And then we have a piece of seaweed or root just kind of tucks in there. Alright. And then we lock that in up here. Don't forget the round tile that goes in the back here. And then... Um, looking for an angler plate. Well, okay. <laughs> All right, that's starting to come apart now. We already made it to bag nine and or ten or whatever. I think that's where we're on bag ten. And boy, this now it's starting to come apart. Be careful with that because this is this is getting kind of flimsy here. Right there is a critical part. If you saw that just flew out. And it goes there. I don't know what this is going to be for, but okay, I see. It goes right here. Right next to that clip. But it doesn't fit, so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you may want to look at it from this side here. That's where it's supposed to go. So we're getting there. It's 320. Now we're on step 323. And... Okay. This is going to be a horse trough or something. <laughs> okay, we got that at the bottom. And this goes right up here. I think we're going to keep focusing on that. I think that goes there. We're getting there. <laughs> Jay, what are you going to do after you get all these sets done? I don't know. Probably going to... Well, I'm not going to go to Disneyland, but I'm gonna, I think what I'm going to do is... i got to get on that tiny house building guide. So when I get done with this, that'll be the thing I'll do tomorrow. Or tomorrow will be Friday. Or later on today. <laughs> I'm going to finish this guy up and start getting it reviewed, and then so I can dedicate my full time. That, I have one mystery manual I'd like to uh, get going. It's something I've been wanting to build for quite some time, and actually have the parts to finish it. So, 
I'm hoping to get that done soon. Yeah. So far, I'm really pleased with this. This this is really nice. This is really nice. And then we have this crossbow. Or you know what, I don't think this is a crossbow. I think this is like one of those telescope things. And I have no clue. But I think it goes here, right there. And we have a hairbrush. Where does the hairbrush, okay. The hairbrush goes on the side here. Wouldn't this been mounted in when we had the chance down here? Or maybe because we had to slide that in. So why is there some random, I don't know, it's supposed to be t tilted like that. But why do we have some random <laughs> hairbrush in there? What what are we doing here, Lego? What, what is that about? Some random hairbrush. We got a subset. Don't tell me what this is here. And yeah, you can tell my voice is getting crackly. I'm getting tired. But I want to get this installment done. I, I'm on a deadline right now. I want to get this done. So yeah, if you're ever getting this program, guys and gals, you will get deadlines like this. And yeah. And so it's not free. You know, I get that question. Jay, the sets are free. Now my time's not free. I always like this seeing green. I've heard some YouTubers tell me or Lego builders in general saying that this color is starting to get brittle. Now, I haven't had a problem with it yet, knock on wood. And I hope I don't because I like this color and I don't want it to get brittle and break. I first thought this was some kind of an airplane, but no, I don't know what this is. Yeah, I, I, I do read some of the comments on here. This is my first Lego set that I ever bought, and it's hard. And, you know, I think it was Succulents. And, oh, yes, I think it was Dan. I don't know who it was about Succulents. <laughs> yeah. Um, you get into Lego for the first time, getting a set like that, you know, especially Succulents or the, the, the Lego... Britannical series. It's not really for the faint of heart. <laughs> so, yeah. That's sticking that succulent to you there. Succulent, succulent, succulent. In fact, we got some succulents down in there, huh? Okay, this goes right here. Well, it looks like that's. Okay, well. It looks like that would just come falling out. We're going to have to be careful with that. That's just something that could easily get whacked right up against the wall. Like these are starting to come off. So I'm, you know, like I said, when we're building this, things now are starting to get flaky on it here. Build quality is still pretty good. But, yeah, it's just not succulent enough for us, huh? Yes, we got that word in our mind again. That's our vote. That's the new word of the day is succulent. I have to remember. I think it may have been Dan. I can't remember who was saying something about the succulents. I'll have to re read that comment again. I could just do a quarry on YouTube. See who said what. Looks like this is probably a bottom of a boat or something here. Succulents. And I know this one goes here. I'm missing a one by two. Oh, there it is. Jay, you gotta wake up. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. 
Maybe I'm just not succulent enough to do this tonight, huh? Obviously, you can tell this is part of a boat. And... Okay, we got to put... How many of those do we need? Just two? I wonder what happened to the crew on this boat, huh? Maybe it's the Titanic, a part of it, we don't know. <laughs> the Titanic wasn't wood. Well, it may as well be wood, huh? This is this is reddish brown. See, on this channel, though, I can just get kind of crazy. If I did this on my main, I would get somebody saying, you need to take this seriously. Here, I don't have to. I can just say succulent all, you know, all I want. All right. All right, this is getting kind of crooked here. Hard to line all that up. All right. Okay, and indeed, that is a boat, or part of one, and it sits over here. Now, I'm going to see how that sits in there. Okay, this goes right there in this brown clip, right there. So, stick that right in there, and it just rests in there, too. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I mean, so, I mean... Starting to look more like a junkyard. I have one extra tile. Where did this go? Did I forget to put that somewhere? You know, I bet it went on the back of this thing here. Let me check. Maybe I just wasn't sucking enough to, to read ahead or read behind. I don't know. Let me put this in here. Let me kind of just go back. Like I said, we didn't glue it together. We can... We can sure take a look here. That's the whole point about doing these build progress build, you know, this type of build here, is that I can walk through it and walk you through it too. And if we make a, a mistake, I think it went on that big thing. That's exactly where that went on the back of this here. So how do you get that out? How do you propose that I'll do that? Just rip that out of there. And then I'll just pop that out and shove this in here. And then we'll set that right in there like that. Okay. And then I'm not sure how that went back together because this slope here came out. So we'll just kind of dry fit it like we're missing something. I think this is... Okay, where did this piece go now? This fell off. All right, well... Let's take a look here. Some people will throw in the towel. And I will not do that to you. Well, I see the slope there. Let me leave that out. Here it is, right here. I knew we'd find it eventually. Well, that still doesn't quite line up, so I think this one goes back further. Yeah, goes back one. If you're not sure, like I said, you something falls off or you make a mistake, don't just keep building and leave it like that, because that will really mess you up. So I don't know what the tile was for. I think it was meant to fill in the hole, but that's it. But don't go anywhere yet. I got one more bag to do so we can wrap up this section here. Remember, I'm dividing everything up the way the building guy does it. So this is something I'm doing a little different. So that's it for bag 10. Okay, now we're going to wrap this installment up with bag 11. And, yeah, looks like deja vu. <laughs> okay. How many mistakes am I going to make in this session here? I don't know. Okay. Slide that off to the side. 
we're just going to instantly start with a sub step. So let's, let's get it going here. Three by three plates. These are always nice to have. So. And let's see here. Whoa, we don't want that there. Yeah, I don't like following somebody else's instructions. Oh, yes. Uh, somebody asked me to watch one of their video tutorials. And I'm like, yeah, sure, I don't mind. It was like a how-to video. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm like, cool. Okay. Next thing you know, the piano music starts playing. They were doing this. And I thought, okay. <laughs> I didn't want to... It's like, I can't, I can't keep up with this. And I had to click off the video. I was just like, I can't. Even with the sound down, I was just like, I can't follow this. And I do get knocked down from time to time on how I do my tutorials. Like, I build slow. I talk too much. Why don't I put piano music? And I just can't do it. I can't get into that. It's just... Like, I could put piano music in here and just do this and just speed build through this set in five minutes. But then it will not do you, the viewer, any good. And why don't people make these type of videos? It, 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 it takes too much time. Because right now I could be sitting here watching a movie while doing this, but I can't because I can get a copyright strike. So I can't just sit here and watch a movie. I'd have to have the sound turned down and and that kind of thing. And you know, that wouldn't be too fun. So that's why, that's why you don't do that. All right, we got to put a slope under there. I mean, I talked about this in several videos, but the, the old record companies, they... Uh, shoot themselves in the foot. Wait a minute here. Okay. Let me pull that apart. They shoot themselves in the foot because ooh, um, they're not making any sales. They're going after people who upload music to YouTube. Well, I don't want some 128-bit kilobyte per second whatever sound file. You know, I mean... I want higher quality, so I want to just go purchase it. Well, how do these record companies expect me to listen to music if I can't listen to it at all? I, I don't understand that. Oh, we're losing money. Well, you're losing money more if I can't even hear it to begin with. Sometimes I'll hear a song in somebody's live stream or, you know, something like that, and... Like, oh, okay, cool. What's that song? Oh, okay. Here's this is the this is the artist and the band and whatever. And it's like, okay, cool. And you'll go look it up and see if you can find it on iTunes. But when you mute the sound on it, because oh, we don't want that music on there. I remember when I got dinged one time for it. I said never again. Now I'll get contacted sometimes by musicians or bands. Hey, we'd, we'd like for you to use your uh, our music in your video. Um, would you mind purchasing a license? And I'm like, if you were giving me the license to use in one video, I would, but I'm not gonna pay, you know, pay for that. And sorry, but find someone else and. You know, I mean, I just do this as a hobby. And... You know. All right. Yeah, but some of these record companies, you just get so greedy. I still remember that kid who did Napster. They went after him, and there was a lady one time that illegally downloaded music, and they caught her. 
and she had to pay like three or four million dollars to a record company and she didn't even have the money for it. And I mean, they were going after people. But why didn't they do that back in the 90s and the 2000s? Because, you know, back then, very few people had high speed. Even I didn't have it. And downloading a music file that's maybe five or six megabytes took probably 30 minutes to an hour. It was impractical. It's like downloading movies, you know. Back in the old days, downloading movies was impractical. Who would do it, you know? It was That was the thing, you know. Just going to spend three or four days downloading a movie. Wouldn't it just be faster to go to your big box store and buy it, you know, and that was, uh, you know, now today you can download a movie in a matter of minutes, <laughs> uh, unless it's 4K, but it's going to take you maybe a couple hours, but still, you know, it depends on your provider, but I'm like, just gonna do that. And then you gotta have to scan it, make sure there's nothing attached to it that you don't want. But but movies are pretty cheap, you know. Sometimes you can go hit the dollar bins, or the, now they got them. At, now they're marked as the two dollar bin. But I remember back when know, about 20, 30 years ago, well, probably about twenty years ago, I used to have the dollar DVD bin. <laughs> it was Titles you never heard of before, or stuff you haven't seen in 10, 20 years, and there they are in the dollar bin. Anybody remembers those? And you would go in and go, hmm, I'm just going to try or just drop 20 bucks into just buying DVDs. In fact, I was in, a, I was in a, a big box store the other day, a couple of days ago, and it's sad that I saw more LPs than I did CDs. CDs are just out outdated now. I mean, they, even a mo I, when I was looking at cars, uh, no modern car has a CD player, which you know, kind of thankful for because, I mean, who uses CDs anymore? I I don't. If I can't fit it on the iPhone, then it's not worth it. I had an ex friend that used to he used to say, "Don't buy CDs. No, no one uses those anymore." <laughs> Should always. Oh, yeah, they do. I'm like, no, they don't watch. Them. Nobody uses those. My mom still uses CDs. I'm trying to get her to put all her music on her iPhone and be like, you know, here. <laughs> you carry your phone with you. You don't carry your CD collection with you. It'd be easy if you did it that way. I mean... She's got a car with Bluetooth and all that stuff. I'm like, take advantage of that, you know? I mean, I wish my head unit had a Bluetooth connection on it. In fact, mine, uh, mine has the factory CD. <laughs> it doesn't work anymore. But, I mean, it's like me. I, I have all my music on my iPhone, my 80s and my hip-hop. You know, that's... Kind of how I did it, you know? and then I would just use one of those um, three, you know, the three point five millimeter stereo jack. I, I had it wired up for it, and then I can just plug it in. I tapped it off of the uh, the auxiliary port, the CD or whatever it is, and then and there you go. I'd like to uh, get it where it's Bluetooth. Then I'd like to get to the point where I'm restoring this this little truck. I'd like to take out the head unit eventually and just put a complete touchscreen navigational system in there. Like I said, I'm not really a car guy, but I've been doing my reading and my research, and I think that's it. Boy, that's oh, we've got a slope there. Yeah. Okay. And this is going to go back over here. Kind of a weird piece, but I think it fits. 
right there. Yep, that's where that goes. You're really going to have to muscle that <laughs> down in there. Oh, we're actually getting to another minifigure. Wow, that's kind of unusual. At least it's at the back of the book, uh, back here, not at the front. So we'll take a look here before we do do the figure. But that's pretty cool in there. But it's going to be hard to reach into this. I think this is just merely just for looks. Merely for looks. Putting that on the right way. Okay. So the short part. Okay. Well, obviously because of the bust in the front. And I'm not trying to be <laughs> disrespectful, but yeah. And we'll put the E, we'll put the nasty smile in the front. Oh, that's the fish's head. Maybe that would work for her, huh? Let me order a few more of those just for the heck of it. Probably will never be able to find them except on Bricklink, but... Yeah, they wanted me to join, uh, I call it a round table meeting for this set. I'm like, I hadn't even got it yet, let alone even looked at the box or anything. How can I give an honest opinion on something if I've never seen it? She just sits in there like that. So, okay, we got to build two of these. Yeah, but if you ever get into this ambassador thing, guys and gals, it is, a, it, it's, it's like a job. So, like I said in the thing, I'm going to declare doing reviews as a job. It means now I'm itemizing my time and all that stuff. So it's, it is what it is. Looks like these are just some kind of rock facades here. This one here goes in here. Oh, well, there goes that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to say that this thing here now is starting to get, the building's starting to get down to average. And then this one goes here. find that lazy Susan and use that. All right, so now we are getting to the nitty gritty here, finishing up all the, all of this here. Okay, I was looking at that thinking, what, what kind of weird piece is that? No, it's one of these little, round plates with a stick, and then it's just two one-by-one one plates around it there. That's what that was. was like, what is that? You know, is that some new part? It's only custom to this set. All right, all these little one-by-ones are getting out of alignment, so... Uh, a YouTuber taught me this. Can't remember his name. Just kind of, I know it was a younger. It was like a T fall. It showed me this trick. Now he's probably a full A fall. It's married. <laughs> That's what you do. Oh, okay. So we flip this guy upside down and stick that right in there. Okay. And then. Transparent red minifigure head. And then that goes in this bay right there. Make sure I put that in right. And there you go. And no, we're not done yet. <laughs> it's all little accessories now. 
Oh, I first thought we were building another one. No, we're not. Um, This actually goes like this. The instructions didn't show it very clear, but this goes like this. Okay, and then... Yeah, see how that's all coming apart? <laughs> it's the little accessories, even mine, even stuff that I build sometimes will do that too. I was really hoping these right here would be really sturdy, but those are really kind of flaky. And well, that's it for all the all the bricks. Still got accessories here, and we used a holder. That's kind of crooked. And then we use a lightsaber sword. And then we stick a couple of fishes in here. So it doesn't matter which way they go. I don't know. I'm gonna say that it's critical so that's how the fish swim underwater they just suck onto some transparent bar that slides around in the holder that could just be faster if i just did that which is what the manual told me to do and then there you go like that and this you can rotate it stuff like that this goes right here Obviously, it can't fit there. Could I put it there? No? Well, so I guess it goes there. I don't know how critical it is. So, no, don't ask me. <laughs> All right. Okay, this one's got a bunch of sub-steps. All right, so let's do the seaweed first. I mean, we got a bunch of stuff here to put on at the very end doesn't look like a whole lot, but it is, and let me hold this correctly the way it shows it in the book. There we go. And coral and flame yellowish orange. Stud flowers. Now, how do I know my color names? Just been doing this for so long. And then this goes... Does it go there in that purple flower? That I guess it goes right there, but that doesn't seem like that would hold in very well. Right there inside this tip of this flower here. Well that's a that's not even strong as Huh. Is that where that's supposed to go? I mean that's just, that's an accident waiting to happen. No, I mean, that's where that's supposed to be, right there. <laughs> okay, we're getting to the point where things are going to get pretty flaky. Let's put the, let's push, let's put old Nemo in here next, huh? Put the stick up in him. And then he, or she, depends on how you look at it goes right around here I think right there and no we're not done yet okay, let's do the one with the flange and then the flange one goes here Okay, and then we have another goldfish. This one just kind of shooting its plastic beam into the stud flower there, that stud, and that's how it is. So yeah, I'm going to say that this is pretty much uh, just for looks at this point. And that's what we have remaining for bag 11. And we will do 12 through 15. Later on, as you can tell, that's 12. 
So I'm taking this is probably the back part of this clamshell. And that's pretty much what it is. And so right now up to this point, we've already done all this down here. As you can see, most of it anyways. That means this one piece that I have, this looks like it just sits up here somehow. Okay. But for the most part, though, I'm happy with this. This is, this is uh, you know, like I said, I always grade things, you know, as it keeping my interest and stuff. And honestly, I was thinking, oh, I'm probably just going to delay this set. <laughs> I got 30 days to get it done. But no, I really want to kind of get this one done here just to kind of look at it. This is very nicely, uh, it's, you know, you know, if it's mostly white and gray, you can just see the colors just pop out. I mean, I'll bring this up and show you, you know, that deep, that dark azure and the pinks and, and the corals and the greens and stuff. I mean, this is, uh, this is heavy. So this is, once you're done with this, find a home for it and that's it. Uh, yeah, so, so far I'm pretty happy with the build, but tell me what you think of this build so far. Yeah, and I think in the next installment we will wrap it up and do a quick review. But, yeah, you know, for me, it's not too bad, and I think this is a cell of a boat. And this is the remains of the boat. I can't wait to kind of see what this looks like, but, you well, know, let's see what time it is here, and, uh, yeah, it's already 2 in the morning, so... I think that's uh, my cue to stop. So, <laughs> see you in the last installment.